My darling, I once told you that I loved you with all my heart, even though there wasn't much of a heart to love. I have a love for my family, of course, but God knows how much my heart has grown with your love and your kindness and gentleness. I promise you to continue to give you the same strengths and love that you have given me. I can't believe today is finally here, our wedding day. I'll never be able to describe what I felt meeting you for the first time in that ER. I knew this was going to be something special and that my life would forever be changed. So we come here together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and woman in holy matrimony. And the sacred relationship of marriage was established by God in creation and Jesus ordained marriage by his presence at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. And the Apostle Paul chose marriage to symbolize the union between the church and between Christ. So we are the bride of Christ. So the union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for your mutual joy. While I was in training for my deployment, we had to go out for two weeks to Mojave Desert in California. Kyle was stationed about three and a half hours away. While we were getting done with everything and getting everything ready to go to bed, getting everything ready for the next day, I get a call from Kyle that says, hey, where are you at? Well, next thing I know, there is headlights coming down our main road and it looks just like a Mitsubishi Lancer. So I'm sitting there on the guard shack, just like, what is going on right here? I thought somebody was lost. This little red Mitsubishi Lancer comes rolling up window rolls down. I was about to say, sir, are you lost? All I hear is, what's up, baby? <laughs> Kyle drove out three and a half, probably four hours in the middle of the dark, in the middle of the desert, just to come see me for 15 minutes. And that is my favorite story because it shows just what kind of man Kyle is. No matter what, no matter what's in his way, he's going to get everything done for you. He's going to come make that trip to come see you. And Jordan, I am so excited to see what he can do for you in your life, what he does for you, and just how you guys are together, because I know you guys are just a perfect match. Marriage isn't to be entered into unadvisably or lightly, but soberly and in the reverent fear of the Lord. So into this union, Kyle and Jordan come to be joined. I've gotten the honor and the privilege to have the front row seat to watching my sister become the most amazing woman that she is today, while also getting to watch Kyle and Jay create their own forever love story. As I reflect on this amazing life and memories that I've had, I can't stop smiling and reminiscing on how special and memorable it has been to have, to have her by my side. Jordan has been my built-in best friend since day one, although she was pretty confused when I came into the picture. Day by day, we have shared life together. I still remember hunting together when we were just young girls, running around in our backyard eating popsicles, playing in our princess tent, rearranging our room furniture at midnight, getting ready together for school dances, watching her kick butt at all of her cross country and track meets, and so much more. As Jay and I got older, we became even closer. Jay was always someone who I looked up to and still do to this day. She has always been the one who can crack the best joke in a moment, bring peace to a stressful situation, make you feel so loved and comfortable, and drops everything for her family. I will never forget the nights when I would go into her room to sit on the, uh, the edge of her bed to talk, laugh, and of course ask if I could wear her clothes to school. Jay and I love or Jay, I love you so much, and I'm so excited to make more memories with not only you, but your new husband. Mmm, wow. <laughs> what do you oh. think? You look beautiful. Can I touch you? Yeah. Can I kiss you? Yeah. Oh. Please do. Mmm. Oh, so beautiful. Do you like it? I love it, yes. I still remember the day when you texted me a picture of the new guy she just met at work. I could already see the sparkle in her eye and the pep in her voice when she talked about him. 
Soon after, I got to meet this guy, and I knew right away that this was the man that we've prayed for and that she was looking for. So Jesus taught us at the beginning of creation, he made a male and female for this cause. A man will leave his father and mother and will cleave to his wife. And after today, you aren't two, but you're one. Aww. Hi, Daddy. That's beautiful. Here, take a picture. <laughs> I'm like, Woo! you like it? Wow. How's it look? My feet are killing me, but. Gorgeous. It looks nice. Your makeup looks good. Thank you. Yours Gosh. too. Love you. Love I'm you. so proud of you. Thank you. You are everything I've prayed for since I was a little girl and more, and I'm so thankful God led me to do. You are caring, you are selfless, and you always put my needs before your own. You are the laughter in my voice, the joy in my heart, and the smile on my face. Today I take you to be my husband, my best friend in good times and bad. I promise to love you unconditionally, to care for you, and walk by your side forever. I vow to be faithful to you, encourage you, and lift you up when you are down. I will be a listening ear when you've had a tough day and a shoulder to lean on. I promise to laugh with you, support you, and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to watch Harry Potter and Marvel with you even when I watch, rather watch anything else, if it means I get to spend that time next to you. I admire your love for Jesus and how you honor me in all you do. I can't wait to see you continue lead us as a family when we have babies of our own, because I know they're gonna have the best dad. I am so proud and honored to become your wife and can't wait for this journey together. I love you. You. Oh, thank you. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. love it. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Deesk, do you need me a hug? Uh, hi. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Oh, you're gorgeous. Thank yeah, you. Yes. You guys look handsome. Yeah. You are a precious gift from God that I truly adore. And I cannot wait for our relationship towards God to grow deeper together. For all days to come, I promise never to keep score of who wins, to <laughs> always dream out to bar karaoke, and to rotate the decor pillows in the living room. Yes. Give me your hand, and I'll give you forever the best you have to come. All my love. Aww. Love you. Love you. That was good. Try it. I'm proud of you. Until weeks. That was so and weeks sweet. and weeks and weeks. Aww. <laughs> The first time I met Kyle, I was blown away by his selfless and kind heart, his charming smile, how he was a gentleman, and how he looked at and treated my sister. I am honored to have you as my family, and I can't wait to see the life that you two have built together. Today, I am handing you over, my sis, to you and know that she is in good hands. I pray that you both would fight for each other each day, that your love would grow more and more for one another, that you keep God first above all else, and that you pick each other up when the other is down. Everyone, please raise your glass to Mr. and Mrs. Corey. Here's to an amazing life together. I love you both. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Take you, Jordan, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. 
according to God's holy ordinance. And there do I pledge you my love. I, Jordan. Take you, Kyle. Take you, Kyle. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For rich and poor. For in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my love. And thereto I pledge you my love. Jordan, even though you're absolute trash at playing darts, I still love you, and I am so happy that you're the person that Kyle gets to spend the rest of his life with. If everyone could raise their glasses and just repeat after me, can I get a hip hip kuray? Hip hip kuray! I give you this ring as a symbol of my, of my bow. And with all that I am, all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. All that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now that Kyle and Jordan have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witness and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings and by joining their hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, 
We're getting close. <laughs> Let not man <laughs> separate. You ready? Okay. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>